Hello, welcome to another afternoon adventure with Miss Alicia and Miss Nicole. We have a lot of fun planned today, but before we get started, yeah, we're going to have a couple reminders. Have you guys picked up your summer reading logs from the library? Remember, if you read, you get prizes. Who doesn't love prizes? And books. Yes. Prizes yes. and books, which is very exciting. Doesn't get much better than that. Yeah. And you can come in the building and even visit us, which we would love. So this week, during the weekday, Monday through Friday, we're open 1 to 5 to the public. And we would love to see you guys. Please, please come see us. Yeah, we have lots of new books and ordering books like crazy. So come check them out. They need temporary homes. They're lonely here. Are we ready to get started? I think so. Okay. I think that's all we have to tell you this week. Okay, so today we are making self-inflating balloons. Um, it should be super easy. Uh, it's not as messy as some of the other things we've done, but you might still want to cover your table, and then if you have like an apron or something to wear, you might want to. But it's just vinegar and baking soda. You're making me nervous, like we might get messy. No, I don't think <laughs> okay. I mean, we've done, we've done way worse. Yeah, I did break an We're not exploding <laughs> soda everywhere this time. Okay, so here's what you're going to need. You are going to need an empty plastic bottle. Any sort of plastic bottle will do. You probably want, um, I wouldn't use a two liter unless you're going to add a lot more vinegar and baking soda, probably, but like a 20 ounce or 12 okay. ounce plastic bottle. You are going to need just some regular vinegar, white vinegar. You need some baking soda. You need a balloon. Don't inflate it, um, but just a regular balloon. And then if you have one, um, you might want a funnel to get the baking soda into the balloon. If you don't have a funnel, you can make one just take like a piece of paper or a um yeah like kind of roll it up yep. a bit. and roll it so that it's smaller on one end. You can do that. If you have a paper cup, you can cut the bottom off the paper cup. Do the same thing. I've used that before. Um, but that's all. That's all you need. Oh, and you might want a spoon for the baking soda. But that's it. Awesome. All right. So we are going to try and do this. Real quick. All right, so we're gonna take our bottle and we are going to put vinegar in our bottle. Um, you can use, well, actually, if you don't want to, we don't want to get, have another one. Look, we're we'll magically over there. All right, so you wanna fill the bottle about a third of the way with vinegar. So we're gonna do that. And yeah, you probably don't want to use the same funnel for the vinegar and the baking soda, or you're going to get a reaction faster than you won't get soda. much baking soda in the book. <laughs> yeah. Is that about a third? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> a little more. Okay. It won't hurt me. Nope. No. Using vinegar a lot for me. Yeah, yeah, we have. And it just makes me want wow. I was just thinking that the food the best. They're my favorite thing. Okay, so we've got our vinegar in the bottle. Now we want to get our baking soda in the balloon. Not the bottle, the balloon. The balloon. All right? So we're going to take our little funnel, stick it in the balloon, like and then you're going to want... Just open it all the way. Then you're going to want probably... um like two spoonfuls of baking soda in the balloon. So, my take. Do I have to like work? Yeah, you just gotta shake it around a little bit. It'll go down. There we go. Just, just take a second. Get as much soda as you can. And 
and this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky. Find out. Yeah. Okay, so we've got some baking soda in the balloon. Let's see if it's enough. All right, so now here's where it gets tricky. You're going to take the balloon, have your partner hold the bottle for you, and you're going to wrap the top of the balloon over the top of the bottle, but you don't want the baking soda to get in the bottle yet, so you're just going to wrap it like this, right? So the baking soda is still here in the balloon. The baking soda is still in the balloon. Now we're going to lift up the balloon so the baking soda goes in the bottle. Okay. Theoretically. <laughs> All right. See what happens. And then let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm so afraid I'm gonna explode. <laughs> Look. Oh yeah, it's still oh, reacting. Cool. It inflated itself. I don't it know if you cool. can see, but it is a Willard's Library balloon. So the I you I know we've done this before. We love vinegar and baking soda. But the vinegar and baking soda had a reaction in the bottle, right? Because one is a acid and one is a base. And as a result, it releases CO2, which is carbon dioxide, right? Yes, yeah. carbon dioxide. And um, that CO2 is filling up. Should we take it by the camera? So can see? Yeah, go for it. Now that I know it's not going it's it's not not to float on. Yeah. So we have inflated a balloon without mm -hmm. using our mouth. Got lots of fizz and bubbles. There's our beautiful Willard balloon. Willard balloon. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. All right, so that is the basics of this experiment. We would love to see what you guys do with it at home. Um, so do it at home. Send us a video. Send us a picture of you doing this experiment. And then have fun with it. Like, try it with a two-liter bottle yeah. and a little bit more of everything and see what happens. Um, you could try it with like something bigger. You could try it with something other than a bottle. See, see what happens. We would love to see your videos. Those are always the best. Yes, it's always it's fun for us too. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Uh, what else do we need to sell them? Oh, next week we are going to be making play doh, play doh. We're going to be making homemade play doh, which should be very fun. There. Um, so what, what is today? Today's Wednesday. So tomorrow we've got three programs again. At 11, we've got Baby Time with Miss Beth. At 4 p.m., we've got Mindfulness with Miss Courtney. And at 7 p.m., we have Bedtime Stories with Miss Angela. So it's like, listen or watch those. They're always great videos. Our Facebook page is a very busy place. One more thing, I just wanted to put a plug in for next Tuesday at 11 o'clock. We have our second session with the Air Zoo. Um, I think it's the second one is about like nighttime stories in the sky, and they're going to be talking about some um, stories relating to like constellations and the stars. It's always very hands on. It's so much fun. The one this week was so it was, cool. It was really cool. It's yeah, interactive, very interactive. Yeah. It is a Zoom meeting, so you need to go to our website or our Facebook page and just register for that, so that I can send you the Zoom link ahead of time. And there's a couple of um, materials that you might want to get ahead of time before the Zoom meeting. So sign up for that. I promise you, you won't regret it. We had so much fun yesterday. Um, we learned about the three little pigs and engineering and we built our own houses and it was, it was, yeah, that was pretty cool. So check that out. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Besides the reminder to come in and visit us, right? <laughs> yeah. Come in and visit us. And I just want to show you, look, our balloon is still inflated. It hasn't inflated. It's another way to blow cool. up a balloon. Cause after a while, your face kind of hurts if you try to blow up your own show. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. We yeah. will see yeah. you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.